A new test could identify thousands of genetic disorders in unborn babies. 22 News reporter Jackie Rousseau is live in the newsroom to explain why the test is raising some ethical questions. Jackie? Well, Rich, this new test can identify thousands, 3,500 different genetic disorders, but there are fears that it could also lead to more abortions. Researchers took blood samples from a woman who was 18 weeks pregnant and saliva from the father. From there, they were able to pinpoint if the mutations came from the mother or father's side. Right now, there is a genetic test that mostly determines whether the baby has Down syndrome. Amniocentesis, of course, gives more information, but it's invasive and sometimes unsafe for the pregnancy. This test is raising new New questions, though, about whether parents would more often opt to abort the baby if a genetic disorder was identified. Yeah, I think it probably would lead to more abortions. We're going to have people, you know, using science or misusing science under the guise of sort of looking for better or more perfect people. Well, I just feel like that we can't play God, we, but also we can't put children in hands of parents that are not equipped to parent them. Is the genetic testing 100% accurate? We don't know that. Accuracy, of course, is certainly a critical component of this test. Some doctors are questioning looking at the mother's blood instead of the baby's and how that might not make it 100% accurate. We'll have reaction, more reaction from pro-life advocates on this controversial new genetic test starting at 5 tonight. Live in the newsroom, I'm Jackie Brousseau for 22 News.